that several farmers in Rwanda have been facing clean seed shortage for cultivation. This impedes their cassava production and household consumption in both quantity and quality. Using clean seed by farmers is critical to realize increased root production for home food and marketing. In order to constantly access clean planting materials by Rwanda cassava farmers, International Institute of Tropical Agriculture IITA, has supported Rwanda Agriculture and Animal Resources Development Board RAP, to introduce and adapt the semi-autotrophic hydroponics SAH, technology in Rwanda. SAH facility was refurbished at RAP's Rubana station thanks to the collaboration between RAP and IITA under the Cassava Agribusiness Seed Systems Project in Rwanda. Having a successful a tested and adapted semi-autotrophic hydroponics technology at, at its headquarters in Nigeria, IITA responded to the request by the National Research Program under RAB to introduce and adapt the same technology in Rwanda for purposes of increasing cassava multiplicative rates for polybasic seed management. And this has successfully been done and the, the ultimate benefit will be to increase the amounts produced at pre-basic seed level and this will eventually trickle down as more amounts of clean seed delivered to the farmers. It is more than a year since the facility was established and has already shown strong benefits through improved multiplicative rates of cassava pre-basic seeds. So SH um, came in as a solution to increase the uh, multiplication ratio of cassava. Of course, it also uh, helps us to uh, conserve or maintain some of the uh, materials of of course, germplasm, uh, because uh, the, the, the normal tissue culture uh, plant rate it is costly than uh, SH. Another uh, advantage of SH on our side, you know, winning plant rate from tissue culture to field, we were experiencing uh, a very high loss. The success rate was not even 10%. But currently, we are successfully hardening the plant rate from tissue culture to field. Almost 100% we are succeeding because of this uh, new technology of SH. As part of the IITA contribution and based on its expertise, IITA trained the laboratory technicians on how the SH laboratory operates. I will run about SH. In 2019, in the ITA Nigeria, to 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 learn about semi-autotrophic hydroponics mm -hmm. and how it do it, we start to work here in 2019. Uh, I think in December or 2020, January. From 2020 until now. We have more plant rate, we multiply more and more, mm -hmm. uh, different varieties, we, some varieties, the local and the another form. SH, it's a cheap. Mm -hmm. SH, don't need uh, lamina flow, don't need the other sterilization. Just we need to have a plant rate in the substrate and it multiply uh, very quickly. We need the two weeks, uh, but in the tissue culture we need it so much. In the tissue culture we need it to do a winning in the screen house. Now here we, we need to to go going direct to the field or to use micropropagation. The one recommendation I can give is uh, to facilitate the um, SH lab. Uh, to access to the substrate because to have the substrate uh, it's uh, difficult for us it's not because we are supposed to to take them from Nigeria 
uh, or to take them from Germany. So it's not the process to have the subset. But we are trying to adapt another subset we can, uh, on what you can find locally. But also, it, it doesn't promise very well like uh, the other subset on which we take from ITA.